Hello and thanks for coming back and joining me on this vlog. As I said at the end of my last one, this one was going to be a, a sort of a roundup of of Wales and the final the final vlog about my North Wales road trip. And also I wanted to talk about these two images. You might not be able to see them because uh, I got them printed out in gloss rather than on matte, so they're a bit reflective. But I've moved my camera over slightly so I can put an image up on the screen here as well, so you can see what I'm talking about. These are perhaps my two best images ever, arguably. I'm not sure if they are. I'm I'm fairly convinced they are, but you might decide otherwise. The there's many reasons for that, really. I did I decided not to vlog capturing these images, which is in a way is a shame because you can't see the journey to capturing them. But also, when you take into account that I was going to vlog the following morning anyway. It was pitch black, so you wouldn't have seen much apart from my face. And the fact that not worrying about the vlog meant I could concentrate purely on the photography side of things. And I think that is what has made these images so good, in my opinion. As I say, I've captured two, and they're both really, really good. I, I think this one's my favourite, but sometimes that one's my favourite. It's, it's difficult to toss, to toss up between them both. They've both got stories behind them and the fun. The thing is, I think they're so good and I enjoyed capturing them so much because I was having fun while doing it. If photography isn't fun, you can see it in the images and these images are so good to me and I've got the experience and the story and the memories of capturing them and it was super fun to do it. There was two of us on the island. We were having fun with torches and making light trails and painting, light painting the lighthouse in different ways and just sort of exploring and adventuring and trying different things with our cameras and that's that's what it's all about trying stuff out and experimenting with your with your imagery i'll talk about this one first by the way i've entered both of them into the astrophotography awards of the year awards i don't feel like i'll get anywhere with them but you have to be for the newbie category for the new person category you have to have been not taking images astro images for more than a year and my first astro image was taken in scotland back in november so i thought if there was ever a time that i could perhaps win a new award then these images and right now in this situation for an, a newbie a newbie award would be i'd be a bit daft not to enter it more of an experiment to see if anything happens and it's a free award free award entry thing so we'll see what happens i'm not expecting anything but I think if anything was to happen that these images would be the ones. I don't I don't think for a long time unless I try more with my astro images and put myself into more dark sky locations and that's probably not going to happen with a new baby on the way for a long time. So I think these 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 are my best images so far to me. So I thought why not. So we'll see what happens with that, but I wanted to sort of run through how I took the images, my thought process behind the images. So I'll put one of them up on the screen now. I chose the black and white version of this one to get printed and to include in the vlog and originally. I did like the colour of the of the colour version. I'll put the colour one up on the screen now for a few seconds. I like the colour of the sky with the stars and I particularly like the colour of the torch light going up. But I think wanting to convert one of these into black and white, this one works better. I think the almost jet black silhouette of the rocks at the base of the lighthouse work really well. And when I was composing the image, I thought having the left, the um, lighthouse on the left hand side worked, but it was missing something on the right hand side. So putting my silhouette, having the, the silhouette of the rocks leading up to a human silhouette and then leading away again with the rocks works really well. I tried to angle myself and my body. It was hard to, it was very hard to stay still for 30 seconds, but it was because it was quite cold and a bit windy but i tried to sort of position my body well so you could so my arm was anchored and you could still see the stars through that arm and i think the added addition of the torch sort of pulling you up to the images to the pulling you up the image to the stars works really well as well all in all I'm, i was really happy with it it was fun it was enjoyable to capture the image and yeah, I'm really, really happy with that one. As I say, that's my favourite some days, but then other days, this one's my favourite as well. I'll put this one on the screen as well. The black and white image I've called insignificant because that's how I felt. But this one as well, 
I wanted to give another title to. Um, it's called Interstellar Standoff. So there's a standoff between me and the lighthouse. I think the colour version works well. I really like the the colour of the light from the lighthouse coming down to me. I, I tried to, try to position myself in the space where that light was hitting the ground. And similarly, I tried to, to light up the lighthouse with my torch so the light was going two ways. The texture of the lighthouse particularly I really like. And the sort of the standoff between the lighthouse and me works really well. It's kind of a kind of mid battle like a David and Goliath situation. And I went for the word interstellar because that's what the definition of interstellar means. It's it's within the stars, so there's this standoff within the stars and I think with this one particularly the stars aren't necessarily the standout. It's the it's the the way that the three parts, though the the lighthouse and me, and the stars work together in sort of in Trinity together. It works really well, and I did I did convert this one to black and white. But I think the colours in this one work really well together as well. As I say, it was fun. It was in it was an enjoyable almost three three and a half hours on the island trying to capture these images, and it's something that I wouldn't be doing again for a long time. But I would encourage you to. To have a go, put yourself in these situations to try and capture images that otherwise you possibly wouldn't capture. If I'd have, as I say, if I'd have vlogged, then these images wouldn't have been half as good as I'd have been concentrating on the vlogging aspect. But fully immersing yourself in the photography and making it fun and making it enjoyable and coming back with not only amazing images but memories as well that's that's definitely a positive so hopefully these are two of my best images that i've ever captured hence the the title of the previous vlog but i just wanted to run through them and hope i hope i hope you've enjoyed them I, i'm con contemplating selling them off my website um i'm not sure if anyone will be interested I'll, i might look into it they'd be matte not gloss like this and i can probably push them to probably a3 size i think that would be as as big as I'd want them to go because I don't want them to be huge I want them to be quite intimate and quite you can sort of get your hands on them and you can look at them rather than them being on massive canvases where you might you might sort of lose something I, I think they'd work a4 a3 imagery so I don't know I'll I'll put a link in the description below to my to my web, website anyway and if I do decide to sell them head over there and you might be able to you might want to buy one and that that money would come back and support my work and put some put some diesel in the van for the next trip i did say i'd mention the settings as well both images were captured at f 3.5 iso 6400 and they both ran for 30 seconds they this one was 12 mil and this one was 10 mil so they both were very very similar and yeah, hopefully that helps you if you're considering any astro photography. Thanks for joining me on all the videos from North Wales. It was a cracking trip. I hope you enjoyed all the content from it. And yeah, I think let me know in the con in the comments below whether you think these images which which, which one your favourite one is, and if you think that these are my best ever images because I think they are, and I'm as you can probably tell I'm pretty proud of them. So. So yeah, we'll see what happens with them. More Astro to go with, I think, down the line. I'm getting a little bit hooked, so we'll see what happens with that. But I'm starting to ramble, so I will sign off now. Thanks, as always, for joining me, and that's the end of the North Wales road trip. So who knows what will be coming up between now and when I sign off for three months at the beginning of June, but there's lots more good content planned, and hopefully you can join me on all of that. I'll see you on the next one.